politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome on The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fuller. Now, the Deputy Commander Land Forces, Major General Francis Takira, has requested health workers across the country to stop treating homosexuals in public health facilities. He said such practices are shameful and shouldn't be accepted. He also said God is about to punish us, so prepare yourselves for doing some of these practices even dogs cannot do. Don't use our facilities to treat homosexuals. Someone comes with pampas leaking and wants treatment because he made a decision as if he didn't have brains. No, no, no. This is too much and unacceptable. Now, police in Serere district are investigating the disappearance of more than 100 members of a Christ Disciples Church for a week now. 100 members uh, from Serere disappeared uh, from their communities and that is when uh, the information reached us that 10 members were not available. The East Choga Region Police Spokesperson Oscar Agecha says that the investigations commenced after receiving reports about the purported trafficking of people to Ethiopia to spread the gospel. As Ugandans, we have religious freedom and then freedom association. These are constitutional mandates which as Uganda Police Force we cannot abrogate. We only, well, that's why we have opened up a general inquiry file to find if there are any laws broken in these disappearances. If it is legal, we shall leave, I let it be as such. It's reported that Reverend James Enyaku and Pastor Gustin Orago convinced their followers that God had a plan for them to go to Ethiopia and spread the gospel. They, they went with their children, with their women, and uh, even the children which were at a distance, like in Kampala, they were called and they were all troubled. The thing here uh, can make even the, the gospel hard to be preached and to those that are not born again if all this cannot come to a success in the way they are saying. Now residents say the church members were asked to pay two million Uganda shillings to enable them in this program. One had to come up should have uh, two million shillings for the preparation of documentation and travel expense. So other people could not raise that money. That's why people sample remain behind. That uh, they have actually even sold. They have sold their land, they have sold their houses, and almost everything that they have, they have sold. Now, one of the missing people is uh, Simon Peter Opolot, the acting district commercial officer, and his wife, the Yara DC confirmed. Like uh, uh, one of our commercial officers, yeah, together with their wife, they have been our civil servants here, but they have been members of this very church. But it has come to our dismay that they have also disappeared and gone with this very group. Well, this is so unfortunate that unscrupulous people are using church to manipulate the society. Let's hope they'll be found alive. The Buzz UG. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller. Subscribe in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. It's a bye for now. Audio jungle.